اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم From today onwards, I'm going to start a new series and that is for students or scholars who have just enrolled in a research program. Maybe they are doing their master's or maybe they are doing their PhD but have not researched previously. Now, starting with the very basic concept of research. What is research? Now, primarily the focus of this whole series would be on social sciences research or business research, whereby the focus will be on survey based research that is primarily focusing on research that utilizes a structured questionnaire for data collection. So what is research? Now it is a systematic process. And what does this systematic process do? It helps you find solutions. Now what solutions does it find? It finds solutions to obviously problems. So when you are doing some social research or when you are doing some business research, maybe you are encountering some problems. But let's say if we are encountering problems and that's the reason we are doing research, why is Microsoft and Apple investing so much in research? They are investing billions of dollars in research. They do not have any problem. They are the biggest companies in the world. Or for that matter, we can say Tesla. Why is Tesla investing so much? Or IBM? Or Amazon? Why are these companies investing so much in research? They do not have any problem yet. But they might encounter a problem if they are not conducting a research. For example, if we all remember, there was once a mobile phone company called Nokia. Now there is hardly any set or there is hardly any mobile phone that had so much success as Nokia had. Every single person once had a Nokia from 2001 to 2010, 11, 12. But then what about today? We hardly find anyone having a Nokia. Why? Because they failed to understand what's going on in the market. They failed to forecast. And to the best of my knowledge, they failed to properly research. Now, failure to properly research led to the demise of Nokia, led to the fall down of Nokia. Now, we ha hardly hear about Nokia. And maybe in 10 years time, let's say, who knows, there won't be any Nokia maybe. So, research will help you solve problems. Let's say you will solve problems. It will help you grow. It will help you sustain your growth. Again, it has to be a systematic process. You cannot just collect data without identifying a your unit of analysis. You cannot just go and collect data without properly identifying a your sampling technique. So this is what we mean by systematic when we say that research is a systematic process. Now once we know that okay this is research. What type of research are we conducting as an academic? Our research as an academic can be categorized as basic research. And this is just one type of research. The other is applied research. So if you are working for an organization and there is an issue within the organization and the manager asks you to solve that issue. So the research that you are conducting to solve that particular issue faced by an active organization is applied research. Otherwise, if you are an academic 
who is doing research to add to the body of knowledge, to add to the literature, doing something that has not been done before, maybe assessing a relationship between two variables that have not been assessed before. So that research is basic research. Why? Because you are adding to the body of knowledge. Now, what is body of knowledge? We are going to talk about this. So the research that we academics do is normally basic research. And the research that is done within the organization to solve a particular issue, let's say there is high turnover within the organization. And the CEO asks the HR people to find out the reasons for this high turnover. So the research that HR team does now is applied research because the findings are going to be applied to cut down on turnover. Let's say I'm doing a degree. Let's say I'm doing my MS. And in order to get my degree, I have to do research. Now that type of research is basic research because I will go to the literature, whatever is available, how it is available, we are going to talk about it. And then I will find out, okay, what has been done in the research and what needs to be done. So your future research direction and what has been done. And then what you do is you propose your own research. And that research once conducted and published is basic research. Now, all, not all basic research is published. Sometimes they are published, but they are published by the institution you are studying in and they it becomes part of their repository. So basic research and applied research are two different types of research. This was just a basic introduction to research. Following this session, I'm going to have a few more basic sessions on research. And then we are going to take a more stepwise approach as to what is research and how do we start research after this. Now that I know, okay, research is a systematic process and what I am doing as an academic is basic research. Now where to go from here? Stay tuned. Thank you very much.